right before the first loop clip begins to fade to the second clip, we want to set a pause cue so that the crossfade will only start once the operator triggers the command. We will continue with the last exercise's basic setup. Using the last setup, we'll now use the now pointer and control and the arrow keys to go to the beginning of the fading of clip number two. We now right click anywhere on the time axis and select add cue. This way cue number one will be added as a play cue and we can now individually select this cue and to the left in the inspector you'll see a drop down window where we can choose the mode where we can also set the cue to pause. Now we drag and drop the cue on the time axis to where the now pointer is where our fade-in begins. Once we let the clip number one play, the clip will stop once the now pointer reaches the point of the pause cue. Using the play command or the space bar, we can start the playback once more.